Do sharks sleep? Coming up, a dark and spooky night dive with sharks. Welcome to Jonathan Bird's Blue World. It's a beautiful evening as the sun sets behind the Dolphin Dream dive boat. But the Blue World and Brave Wilderness teams are just beginning to embark on our next Bahamas adventure. We've all traveled to West End Grand Bahama for a week of epic diving. So far, it's been incredible. On our first few dives, we had encounters with five different shark species. There were huge tiger sharks, curious lemon sharks, reef sharks, nurse sharks, and of course, Patches the famous hammerhead. The Brave Wilderness guys have gotten some great experience filming sharks underwater, and we've all had a fabulous time diving together. So we've done a lot of shark diving on this show, and we've done a lot of night diving. But tonight, we're gonna combine the two into shark night diving, just to see how many sharks we can find after dark. And I'm sure it's not gonna be scary at all. As the sun dips below the horizon, we start suiting up. I'm gonna go find some sharks and it'll be interesting to see if the blue wilderness guys have gotten eaten yet. <laughs> this is gonna be a piece of cake. On the bottom we meet up with Mario from the Brave Wilderness team who's currently surrounded by tiger sharks in the semi-darkness. As it gets darker, we'll be able to locate the boat by the bright lights on the stern. In the absence of sunlight, the colors of the reef really pop under our video lights. As darkness fully falls, basket stars unfurl and catch plankton with their tendril arms. Purple rope sponges don't do anything exciting, but they look cool. Even so, sharks are cooler, and there are lots of them. With the limited range of our lights, the sharks come and go into the darkness regularly and it's pretty spooky. It's almost impossible to see the sharks until they're right on top of us. Cameraman Bill and I come across a resting lemon shark covered in remoras that look really annoying. I inch my way up close to the shark, trying not to spook her. While a few species of sharks can never stop swimming, most can, in fact, rest on the bottom and gulp water to breathe, a behavior known as buckle pumping. Biologists don't really know if sharks sleep. But these lights are really bright, so it seems plausible that this shark is really zonked out. 
I keep inching my way forward until I can get an awesome view of the teeth. Ever coughed in your sleep? Apparently sharks do too, and now she's awake and fully aware of 10,000 lumens of LED video lights in her face. Time to leave. Bill is annoyed that I scared the shark away, so now he has to find us another one. Look behind you, Bill! Mark and Mario have found another resting lemon shark, and they're getting even closer than I did. Wait a minute. Is Mark petting the shark? Pretty impressive for guys that hadn't even dove with sharks two days ago. One bad idea leads to another. I'm going to try that myself. I really think that sharks must sleep, because that seems like the best explanation for this shark putting up with being petted like a puppy. I think the other sharks are starting to get jealous. I decide to try the tonic immobility technique I learned with master shark handler Neil Harvey and gently rub the shark under the snout. But all I manage to accomplish is waking her up. Nearby, Bill spots a southern stingray foraging for food. Unfortunately, sharks eat stingrays. Bill and I watch as a chase begins. We'll never know how it ends. After an hour with the sharks in the dark, our scuba tanks are getting low, so it's time to make for the boat. As we ascend, the sharks circle below. We know they're not aggressive, but that doesn't make it any less unsettling. We do our safety stop on the descent line while keeping an eye on the sharks, and then we can get out. Oh man, that was crazy! Did you see that thing? I saw it all happen. It was oh, amazing. Oh man, so the, the lemon shark was, I thought it was sleeping. Yeah, I did too. And what happened? I was filming the southern ray coming by. I was like, oh, you know, nighttime life, here we go. And the southern ray got close and closer, and all of a sudden, about three feet away, the shark woke up and just went right after it. I went nuts! Yeah. I thought the shark was sl completely asleep, and as soon as that ray was anywhere near, man, boom! Yeah. It was like a big fight. Yeah, they were chasing <laughs> The ray was darting all around, shark was swimming after it, all over the place. Yeah, Incredible. and I don't know what happened. They, I don't know. They went off into the darkness, and we have no idea what happened, but wow, man, just when you think the shark is sleeping, mm, not so much. <laughs> it was incredible. That was, that was cool. Incredible. Definitely worth that dive. Yeah. The nightlife in the ocean is always spectacular. Although it may seem scary, night diving is actually quite peaceful. It's one of my favorite ways to experience the blue world. Hey everyone, thanks for watching our latest episode all the way to the end. 
you're crazy if you don't subscribe. Hit that subscribe button now so you won't miss our next episode. And check out our merch link in the description for some Blue World swag. Thank you.